he threatening the checkmate. Prophylaxis finds another flight square for the king. C5! Oh! Dirty, dirty child! I took his king! You guys, I took his king! This is what I don't understand about the free move, man. Takes C5, pawn takes C5. Let's go! Go, Charlie. <laughs> Take that, Boomer GM. Take that, Jesse. <laughs> Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Yeah, part of It. What? Oh, good lord. Oh my god, White. Oh my god. The tension. It's just so thick. <laughs> yeah, son. Taste me now. So here's your cue, Hokey. You can cut right here. Uh, we're. <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much. Should we start with Lesman? How to pronounce my name? Not that anyone cares. I, I react to everything, but it's Jakob <laughs> Jakob Ogo. Oh wow. <laughs> so, so it's basically oh, oh god you know it's like i don't know women seem to get my name much easier than you guys oh god <laughs> Jakob oh god oh god oh god no it's not ogre but thank you oh god <laughs> I, yeah sorry yeah 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 i'll, I'll yeah that's stop fine talking. <laughs> All right. anyway, but, 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 for, but for you, I can be Mr. GM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so, perfect. Uh, yeah, that'll distinguish you easily from the rest of us. So the so the scrubs, we're obviously at, uh we're obviously honored to have a, have you on the show. And uh you're you're here for a very important reason. Um you actually won won this guest spot with us. Um if you if you want to call it winning. Um, in the auction uh, last last weekend um, with for for the for the Ukraine for the Ukraine fundraiser that Kosti was running, and uh, basically you know there's still there's still a donation um, we're still taking donations through the Ukraine link, um, and you know definitely looking forward to to seeing seeing some more some more fundraising happening today. Although I don't think we're going to be tracking it. Uh, live on a bar underneath um, for the show, uh, but anyways, just yeah, we're we're you know very cognizant of what's going on over there. We wanted to, uh, or as be as best we can be across the Atlantic, um, and um, yeah, we just wanted to keep keep on um, raising funds uh, in general. So I, I just yeah. just want to say say this: money does make a real difference on the ground. Now. We have in quality chess, we have a warehouse, which is quite close to the border between Poland and Ukraine. We're like 50 kilometers, 35 miles from the Ukrainian border. So the people we work with there, we have bought stuff for them to take to, to the refugees, sleeping bandages, uh, sleeping bags, uh, burn bandages, other kind of things. But most people can't do that. The most effective way that you can help anyone is to send money. It, it makes a colossal difference for real people uh, right now. Um, 
it's a uh, like I was thinking about buying a new guitar instead I I bought me a, a less guilty conscience so and obviously thank you yes for uh, Drew for, for pointing out that this is indeed a paid spot here as a grandmaster you do you you do demand a paid spot uh, in this case however I'm paying <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. You, you can you can actually say now indirectly you were sponsored by Sam Shanklin since he's one of the owners of the academy oh wow that's right oh, that's, that's you, you just have that on your banner uh, permanently mm -hmm. yeah yeah can we say that just <laughs> even if it's uh, only 10 bucks or whatever it is <laughs> right right mm -hmm. dojo scrubs presented by among others sam shanklin um yes. yeah nice um okay okay I can hear you just fine, Derek. That's yeah, we can hear enough. Derek. Can... Okay, great. So, um, anyways, to kind of like just dive into the dive into the show here, we we have a plan. Uh, today, uh, which is to, I don't know if you've ever seen the, seen the show that David Howell did with uh, Magnus Carlsen uh, a while back where he quizzed him on some games. I, I've seen the link. You sent me the link and I saw the link. Does that count? Uh, it's pretty, <laughs> yeah, yeah, same thing. It's, it's pretty entertaining and we decided it would be fun to run this by. We're going to call this the first installment of uh, So You Think You're Not a Scrub. <laughs> so most of us were like 14 1500 um currently i'm tanking right now i'm the 1350s for some reason that is tanking, uh, but uh but uh you know i i was 1500 just a month ago so you know it, it's kind of it, it all fluctuates but anyways we are definitely scrubs we, we like to figure out who's not a scrub um and uh we we thought that the first way to a uh, one good way to test this would just see especially with uh, grandmasters, their knowledge of previous games and all those sorts of things. So we, we, we collated five different games and we thought we would run these by you. And we'll start playing through the games and see if you can just sort of say like, stop when you think you know what the game is. Okay, this is chess. Sense. Yes. No, no chess <laughs> you got it. Well, wow, you're really it, you win. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, so I think Neve Storth, I think you can hear me now. Um, it should be working. All right. So this was the first game and Drew, was this, did you pull this game? I did. Is yep. there, is there a specific position you want me to jump to or do you no, want me I to think that we're gonna just do the play? We're going to just, just do start. the playthrough style. So you can just play through the game and right, then, you can um, see my screen, right? Yeah. Jakob, you can, I'm, I'm sure. I, I, I have to admit here. Yeah, I can see the notation and, uh, uh, uh obviously I've, gone through most of the game already uh, oh. <laughs> yeah hi yeah come on uh, but oh, I, I, I i i can guess this game yes oh wow he already knows yeah, just, this, by, just it, by it, glancing this at the magnus, this is a magnus carlson game this Yay. is a magnus carlson game and who was it against? this is a magnus carlson game yes it is from uh, the Seagaman tournament of uh, 2004 Classic and special and Magnus, here. Uh, was maybe better out of the opening. He thought he said after the game that he thought he was going to win very quickly, but then uh, it all went wrong for him. Uh, and uh, and then at some point, uh, White played very energetically, and then uh, uh, at some point, uh, White missed a win. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, and why was of course me. <laughs> so <laughs> that was, was quite disappointing. <laughs> See, so uh, you had him on the ropes. Well, you yeah, even figured yeah, out yeah, who I was. I'm really impressed. <laughs> I, I have to say that in the beginning, when I was looking at a game, like I have no way of guessing. And uh, yeah, you know, if you go back here, move 27 after Bishop H5, this is where I made my mistake. Yeah, here. So you said after Bishop H5. Yeah, here I made my mistake. This is a wrong move. It's a mistake. What was uh, better? Uh, if you go back there, uh, rook, uh, rook, either rook hd1 or rook bd1. I'm not sure entirely, but oh, I should sacrifice the exchange immediately. Wow. 
and uh, here this position is, is probably just winning. Hmm. It's, it's very close. I, I haven't checked it for 10 years. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. But, uh, you know, it, uh, I, I know that this year was very dangerous. If you see, I basically play the same idea in the game, uh, but we, uh, and if you sort of stop after the next black move, uh, here Magnus thought he had everything under control. He hadn't seen my next move and then suddenly realized he was fighting for a draw, but sadly he's within, uh, yeah, should have, shouldn't, shouldn't have thrown it in there so quickly, but okay. Oh, um, that is quite a move. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice little tactic because if rook takes and queen takes the pawn, and rook goes in between and then h5, winning back the rook, but the black king's position is, is rather um, uh, damaged from it. And now, of course, the rook no longer protected the pawn. And, and here, he would very active play. He managed to, to secure a draw. Wow. Um, was this was this the first time you had played Magnus, or had you come across him? Before? The only time, the only time. Oh, it was he, the only time you played him. He was thirteen and a big favorite. <laughs> so, oh, <geez. laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, well, so you put up a fight over him. Seven, going up against thirteen-year-old Magnus. That sounds intimidating. <laughs> Magnus was playing with Sveshnikov at thirteen, or anyway. Oh, okay. Well, he was a grandmaster already. So yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, don't exp don't like pretend like he was some kid. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. He was just a kid no, no. master. <laughs> Did you notice know if uh, Sergei Kayakin hadn't cheated to become the world's youngest uh, grandmaster, um, then uh, Carson would have been world's youngest grandmaster, and so would six or seven other young kids along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm. Uh, and it it really would have made a huge difference for for a lot of these kids in their careers. Uh, sponsorship and so on so it's uh it's not a victimless cry uh, crime you know this 30 euro per game or whatever he was playing he was paying yeah the evidence has existed for a long time and everyone have known right. for a long time so it's uh and, and, and he it's was only now it's only now i have the uh, the bravery to say publicly <laughs> yeah no I just... right I mean, it was he's... It... He's put himself like in a position opens. where people can open can more openly, even though it was people openly um, criticize him for that before. But now no one's holding back, I guess. Well, I got to say, I, for all the things um, we can certainly criticize Karyakin for, I feel like that one is more the responsibility of the adults, right? In the in no, 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 no. no. Of no. course, uh, of course, the adult is uh, is a part of it, but there has been. Uh, a longer period where Kayakin has been an adult, where he has been able to say that uh, obviously I have grandmaster strength and so on, and but th this year wasn't right. We we need to set the record straight and remove me from the history books. No, he had every chance. Oh, before. that's a good point. That's a good no, point. No, no, no. He, he could have. He could have. He could have set the record straight as an adult if he were yeah, yeah. to do the right thing. He, he, there, there was many chances. Yeah. Uh, and also he was uh, bragging to a lot of people and some of them quite famous ones who have told me but won't testify but anyway we know the price is 30 euros because that's what he told people wow. 30 euros oh, yeah, that's <laughs> okay, a lot. yeah that's a good so when, when Costa was uh, was tweeting is uh, right. 9,000 enough for for GM no these days it's like I know there's inflation, but come on. <laughs> yeah. He went way too high with his number. <laughs> yeah. So, so I don't know if we want to move on to the next game, but this one might be a little bit harder. Um, but there's, there's, um, yeah. Well, okay, I'm just, trying to sort yeah, of try, plan try out the notation this time. Yeah, okay. just don't, yeah, don't look at the notation on the right. Yeah, I don't know of any other way to hide the notation, but uh, I must say. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm just going to go close to the screen and you know i'm getting old so this is sort of <laughs> this, this could currently be allowed three thousand games so Hmm. 
Is this Loche again short? No. I don't think. No. I'm trying to remember what the who it was. <laughs> <laughs> Drew knows. Yeah. I've, I've know. seen this game before. I've seen oh, this yeah? game. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> You've definitely seen the game. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Okay. I remember the Queen B4 moment. That that's sort of what I remember. Uh, uh, we can go back to if you want. Yeah, Queen B4. So that was back. Yeah. Could also be a Yusuf of game. Um, <laughs> yeah, for me it feels like it's sort of like uh, late eighties, early nineties. But that's what I was gonna say. Um, if we if we can give a no. hint, can you give like a time frame, Drew? Do you have? Uh, 2005. 2005. That's not going to help me much, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a pass on this one. Now, this is actually your game. This is a you game of black. mine. Yeah. Yep. Oh wait, then I know which where where it is. This is Isle of Man, right? Um. Uh, yep. Yeah. This is a. Uh, uh, is it against uh, Jens Henriksen, maybe? Uh, yep, that's correct. Yeah. Well, I did <laughs> think the game looked looked quite quite weak. So <laughs> it makes sense. you didn't want to admit that it was your game. <laughs> no, 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 especially from white. So uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 you okay. won. Well, so this was literally just a random grab from the database we just grabbed one of your games randomly from the data okay, like, now, now i'm on to you yeah like you, you fool me once you fool me <laughs> twice. This he, he tried to trick you right right off the bat drew, drew came yeah, in high i don't know my own games i don't even know you know during the game i don't even know what i was playing so come on <laughs> <laughs> you, do, you do understand i'm quite old right <laughs> how old do you think i am come on uh i'm gonna guess I'm gonna go 50. it's not far off next year i'll be 50. oh okay all right that was close ah. that's like a. isn't that are you like the same age as jesse i think very similar age to jesse but now we shouldn't yeah. mention him because my my game against him might pop up soon <laughs> oh man <you> didn't... <laughs> oh oh gosh it is coming isn't it oh no but maybe <laughs> So I, I, didn't it in that, I didn't actually, I didn't think to look that up. It makes a lot of sense uh, to yeah. it. Should, that was an oversight. Oh, that was man, a big, yeah, you that missed that one. Oh, no, be, be, better not to include that. I won that game, so better not to include that. <laughs> would, you have rec would you have recognized that one if it had popped up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When was that? Okay. When did you play him? Uh, Budapest 2003, two, three, three, I think. Gotcha. We so should, I guess you we guys should are just dig that one up anyway. Just to... <laughs> no, 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 no. Let it lie. Come on. I, yeah, I I know Jesse's game. all excited Poor that guy. he can play in the senior, uh, uh, all the senior tournaments this this year. Because I guess because he just turned fifty, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I can play next year. So gotcha. He, he will get his rematch uh, chance there. Yeah. Oh man, we gotta look out for the let's for the Jesse Yakov <laughs> rematch. That's gonna be a new show, Jesse. Like you know. Jesse training I, I to, for J Jesse getting <laughs> so, his J Jesse's revenge tour. <laughs> anyway, kid chat. Let's move on. All right, all right. All right. You want to go to the next one? So we, I think we have five games, right? Yep, five right. of them. If this is the one, I yeah, I think you'll get this one. Did you pull this one, Seth? Yeah. <laughs> they sang the slow down in the <laughs> chat. It's not for us. Yeah, I don't think he needs us. <laughs> Sorry, I'll slow down. Yeah, I I, I have no idea. Uh, okay, good. Stumped him. 
<laughs> what, what's Which it, what's pro it? remake to one of my game? I, I thought it was going to be famous games. <laughs> so, this one is this one is famous. This one is this one's famous. Yeah, that's, uh, a, that's so, that, so this isn't one of yours. Okay. <laughs> this is famous to everyone. Not famous just your to everyone. Well, not everyone. You know, it's a chess piece. <laughs> so there's some this some large some segment of the chess pop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't. Th- I'm not even sure I've seen this game. Okay. Uh, no, no, uh, no. I mean, I, I just looked it up, so I can't like be like, yeah, oh, what, how what do is you this one, this? Seth? <laughs> this is uh, Bronstein Carez, 1955. Okay, yeah, no, no chance. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you're not much of a historian when it comes to the, the knowing no, those no, kind of I, games? I, I, I think I am, but uh, yeah, that one's a deep you know, cut. They, they, okay. that, that was that was brutal. Okay. <laughs> Man, Seth, go easy. Yeah, on. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It was. It was. It was. Well, the the um the well, I was looking for a Bronstein game, and uh, the other you could have chosen the famous one. <laughs> the the Leboy, I figured that I figured the the like the most famous one would be too easy, like Leboy of yeah, 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 yeah. So I this was like the next best. You gotta like, make him work a little bit, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> famous opponent. It was like in an inner anyway. Um. So, All right, this now. one also I think is pretty famous. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, this is Ivan Chuk uh, Yusupov, uh, candidate uh, tournament. Uh, nice. Cool. There he goes. Now we got him. He got that one. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, but this is like this is the greatest attacking game of all time, maybe. <laughs> 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 this is this is what I signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> right. I can I can I can tell you where Ivan Chuk could have played better. All right, stop me when I need to. This, this this is like one of the greatest game of all time, and of course, uh, Arto is a very good friend of mine. So uh, that's what I, I was wondering. I, I I figured you guys must know each other. It's no, no, very well. Yeah, very well. Um, here it's already lost. I think. But uh, w- w- wow, what's that quite interesting cool. is Arto actually rates the game where he uh, he won. Uh, it was an eight game match, I think, eight or ten. I'm pretty sure it's eight. Um, he rates the game where he won in game eight to get to the playoff higher than this game. Uh, <laughs> I understand why, but it's not. Uh, uh, is that for like an a- for like an accuracy point of view? No, no, no. He just thought it was more uh, great. Uh, why? Why felt this game here? Okay, it was just one way at all. And the interesting thing is, this is like one of the greatest attacking games of all time. And Arthur <laughs> is so not an attacking player. And the really not. is. Really not. Um, he can play, but but mainly he's a very very technical player. Mm-hmm. This is this is gorgeous. It's uh, yeah. It's. it's that is a beautiful one of, game. <laughs> one of the most incredible games. Uh, there's a game you should look up at some point if you don't know it, which is Serpa against Nikolaidis. That's a, uh, and maybe at some point I'll show you some fun games as well because yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're we're loose. If you've got something that you think is, yeah, I, I'll, I'll find something here. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Any. We're. This is. We. We're. We're loose. We have a loose schedule. Um. We can. But. You've got we you're, do the, have, you're the we you're do the have master one more, obviously. We do we do have one well the one fifth the final game though um actually from the uh from the series so though that we've collated so this is the this is the last one. And was this one okay, that you so this, through? It, 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 this uh, okay should I say already or um, you already you already this, know. Uh, uh, this Your... this is uh, this was played in Monte Carlo, uh, in uh, the Rapid. So the, the, wow. the, the ra- Rapid and um, 
uh, rapid and blindfold uh, tournament. This was played uh, <laughs> a rapid game, and uh, it was white is, is Vasily Vanchuk and black is Sergei Kayakin. And here he played this fantastic novelty, Queen E6. So the well, thing is, he knew, and anyone who analyzed the move uh, knows that this actually isn't especially good move. Uh, White has to be a little careful to, to make a draw afterwards with objective best play. So he didn't want to play it in a regular game, but in a rapid game, in some, some tournament, um, he thought it was fine. And yeah, it's, it's a fantastic move. And uh, gives what? White two boards and attack for the queen. Well, we selected this game primarily because it was a Ukrainian taking out uh, Karyakin. So that was that was. <laughs> well, they were both Ukrainians at the time. <laughs> well, oh, right. uh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a uh, an amazing game. Yeah. <laughs> It just the yeah, the last three, as you notice, we're all yeah. Yeah, the game is actually it's 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 close to over. It <laughs> sorry, it's a winning position for White. Mm -hmm. so. Very cool. Yeah. No, the Bronstein game there and my own game that was that was too hard. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah. uh, truly, 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 no known game. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Yeah. yeah. The the. The, the theme on these other games was a uh, Ukrainian players. <laughs> um. Yeah, because as everybody knows, we do still have the fundraiser still going, the bars across the bottom. So anybody <laughs> that still wants to donate, we're... Well, Bronstein wasn't Ukrainian, as far as I know. I think he yeah. is. I thought he was Belarusian, but... Uh, no, he's, he's, oh. he was born For sure, in he Ukraine. lived in, in Minsk. When he yeah, died. yeah, yeah. But I, I, you know, I grew up, you know, we thought we were all Russians. Uh, right. as, as one Ukrainian said, uh, that, that's not going to happen again. <laughs> and so you grew up, where did you grow up? Because you're in Scotland Denmark. now, if I have it right. Yeah. I was born in Denmark. Okay. Lived there for 30 years. Now 20 in Scotland and I'll probably retire in denmark okay oh cool well yeah so we've gone through these um the the rest of the show we had scheduled was sort of like us well we we were thinking about doing a few games where we would play amongst each other's and then you know you can commentate but if you also have some stuff that you wanted to show that's that's fine too um because we still have we've got another we've got an hour and a half you know, we usually go for two hours, and I think that would be enough time if you have a, a, like some stuff yeah, that you want yeah, to show. Something like that. I have to walk the dog at some some point and get oh. rid of these hiccups. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to show you a famous game. Oh, okay. Okay. Probably do don't know. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to uh, share your screen? Is that easiest, or do you want to? Yeah. If, if if I can just share a screen, that would be nice. Yeah. Let me stop. Have sharing. to be promoted, probably. Yeah. Let me. I'll make you co-host. So this game is uh, played in the Hastings Congress, uh, 1975. There's a New Year tournament, so it starts 74, finishes 75. It plays on the 9th of January. And uh, black is Michael Bassman, who is a well-known uh, person in chess. All right. I think you should be able to share your screen. Other thing for, for playing oh, 1v4. And white was a. Uh... Oh, what happened there? I'm showing the whole screen. I just see a board. Sorry, I'm, I'm fixing the board on the. Yeah, it's fine. And, and white is Ulf Andersen, who, of course, now is a very famous grandmaster and uh, is more or less retired. But. At the time, he was very young, and Bassman was uh, at the pub the night before and talking to people. And uh, like the constant question is, <gasps> "Who are you playing tomorrow?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm playing uh, Ulf Andersen." People are like, "Oh, he's a very dangerous player. You know, he's very, very dangerous positional style and so on." And after a few beers, the story goes that Bassman 
got fed up with this and said, but, and then some swear words, he doesn't do anything. And then the, the next day he played this game, which is uh, one of my all time favorite games. Let me just click here. So uh, Anderson White, Bassman Black. Yeah. And again, this is a game where you don't need to analyze. You just need to know the story. All right. Doesn't do anything is an underrated chess style. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Bassman was true to his word. And Ulf Andersen starts to maneuver because that, that's his style. Oh, wow. Well. Bassman. <laughs> 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 no <way. I'm> just <laughs> uh. Ulf Andersen plays this very prophylactic style, so he's constantly stopping threats, constantly preventing all of uh, Bassman's <laughs> ideas. Bassman doesn't have any ideas, oh, and suddenly. At some point, Ulf Andersen has compromised his position. Now comes a brilliant <laughs> counterattack. Yeah. <laughs> and now, if the knight goes to c3, then queen e3 hits everybody, you know? Mm. You see, here there's oh, a lot of yeah. uh, unprotected guys. Wow. Yeah. So the knight <laughs> has to come here. <laughs> Bishop goes here, and now comes a very nice move. And you can maybe try to see if you can guess it. Hi, Lucy. Okay. Oh, she really wants fresh air. <laughs> I kind of want to take the knight. I don't know. No rush. Yeah. Because yeah, the situation the is now, if white takes the, the knight, you can take back with the bishop. And the pawn is defended. Mm -hmm. But if you mm -hmm. take here, then you have to defend the pawn. So there's no rush. <laughs> B4? It's black. Yeah, black them. B four is this square. You just want to give away that pawn. <laughs> B four is this. Square. <laughs> no, that would be bad. I fear that thirteen fifty might be too much for you, sir. I think you have to be realistic we'll get about where this is going. Remove some of his rating points. I was, just, I was just thinking they would open up the file and double up the pawns and I could infiltrate or something. Well, I'm sure I'm sure you were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking for something silly. That was savage. <laughs> um, I'm trying to look at knight, knight F6. <laughs> mm. Does anything. Um, besides the fact that it's probably pointless. Um, probably. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's not innately bad, no? Yeah. No, but black has a strong move here. It's, it's, it's a little bit tricky. So the thing is, at the moment here, the king is quite exposed. So you can see here, it's a, it's a little bit exposed. And there yeah. is a... Is it like a... Yeah, is it like a... Um... There's a, sort of an, a, what do we call it, an x-ray attack here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like You know, a, grandmasters, we don't really, we're not never sure the names of all these things. You just, you just I, know we, what they we, are. We don't know because... You know what they are. <laughs> because what was very, very normal for us is sort of we, we quickly progressed past the, the beginner's phase. This is basically what talent was. We, you sort of go to some level very quickly and then you get stuck there for a long time and have to grind to, to improve. My level was like 21, 2200, and I got stopped. And Luke McShane was 2600, which is higher than I ever made it. So, you know, um, my, my business partner in quotes chess, John Shaw, he's a, 
uh, there where first time where he hit the ceiling and he had to break through was 1900 sort of different thing and uh, I mean, it took me years like to hit the ceiling you know it's not like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like first tournament or anything no no i was oh i'm sure <laughs> uh, i can try just giving away another pot on h5 or g6 but I yeah, think yeah yeah you play h5 Okay. You, 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 you oh, so I do give away a pawn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, uh, so I was right. I do give away a pawn. It's just on a different file. Okay, got it. Now, <laughs> we're trying to now the, the, the white king's position yeah. is going to be very weakened and played here. And maybe at this point, he should have tried bishop g4. But there, there's, um, without analyzing, there, there, there's a downside to everything. Right. So he came here. Now come here. Now that's a pawn structure. Just defend the pawn. The white king is, is weak. Yeah. And it's a long term weakness. There's no way to repair it. So, here, this is probably the most instructive moment we can, we can sort of take. All right. What should black play here? I mean, but the first thing that pops in my head is like queen e six. Mm -hmm. But I, I was looking at G, I was looking at g six. No, but just to just to get my queen out of the g file. But then the queen's trade, and it's there's nothing really fun anymore. Okay. So when when I teach, uh, and I should probably say I'm not the uh, I I didn't do the sponsoring here. It's the academy that I work for, which is killchesttraining.com. When I teach, uh, one of the things I, I really use a lot is something called the three questions. And uh, these questions are, it's a method I developed maybe 20 years ago. And the reason for using it was that to have sort of a language uh, that we can always talk to other people on, and we see the basic foundations of every position. And I sort of uh, wrote down a lot of questions. The whole thing is based on this idea that our brain is very good at answering questions, but it's not very good at finding questions. And as a chess coach, you often find you're giving hints, right? Mm -hmm. But the hints are, uh, are based on the fact that you know what the best move is. Right. right. And, and that's, that's bad hints because they're not very useful. Because if you don't know what the best move is, the hints aren't available. So I wanted questions that were the same all the time. So I wrote down a, a long list, and uh, I don't remember everything on the list, but uh, there are some questions that, that didn't make the list, like, are we playing for dynamics or are we playing for statics? So dynamics is short-term things, so sort of based on something we could do now. Mm -hmm. And statics is long-term things, could be extra material, better structure, two bishops against two knights, or these kind of things, yeah, or better pawn, or having a past pawn or something like that, which in the long run will be a good advantage, but short-term, it, it might not uh, affect what happens over the next two, three moves. And this is a constant battle. Also, which flank are we playing on? Which way do our pieces point? Where, where is the opponent stronger and weaker? Um, but these questions didn't make it. Mm. There, the three questions that made it was the first one, where are the weaknesses? Mm -hmm. So uh, in this position, white has a number of weaknesses. So anything defended only by the king is a weakness. Something undefended is a weakness. And something permanently in trouble is a weakness. Actually, you could go as far as to say that the king is weak. Mm -hmm. The second question uh, and then sort of like the order of them is not so important. Could be what's your opponent's idea. Um, and here it's not for us. It's not very obvious what White's idea is. <laughs> Sometimes these questions just like, ah, who knows? You know, and then move right. on. It's the idea. The point of the, the questions are, it sort of should be that you don't forget the relevant things. Mm -hmm. And the second or third question, depending on the order, is which is the worst place piece? So for white, it's the oh, rook here, right. which is sort of stuck. For black, it's, it's also the rook. rook. Also the rook. Now, where would you like to have the rook? So, uh, so it's, oh, it's the, rook eight, isn't it? It's rook eight. I'd like to have it on the e-file, right? Like to have it on the e-file, which mm -hmm. gives you basically two moves to choose between, which is either bishop e8 or rook a8. 
Now, one of these is stupid, and the other one is what he played. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Commit. Commit. Not Rook A8. That was my choice. Oh, you're right. Because oh, who would put the bishop yes. on E8? Yeah. Who would yeah. put the bishop on uh, E8? No, you just, you just became nervous. What you want to do is, is the right move. Yeah, you activate the rook because the bishop still has uh, power on this diagonal. And yeah. we would like, yeah. for example, the, you know, people are talking about this idea, which is not stupid by any means. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's much easier for, uh, for black to bring in the, the pieces than it is for white. So we improve the position. This is another question that didn't make the list. Who can improve the position most? The player who can improve the position the most doesn't want its immediate fighting, while the other side would. This is what uh, some people have made a, a whole career out of talking about, and it's uh, called the strategic balance. Um, okay, so here, yeah. uh, Anderson played queen c3, and the idea is, of course, rook e1. And here came a, a very nice move from Bassman, which was c5. So the idea is if we take with the pawn, it comes here, and then next up comes the rook in, and we have a big attack. So Anderson, he took with the queen, but now this rook e1 move is no longer there. And now the king, queen comes in. And we can see it's under much better uh, conditions than we had before when we, people were trying with queen e6. So the game ends like this. Because yeah. There, there, check, check. That's just overexposed. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but because we can now bring the rook in, we're ready uh -huh. for. And here, 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 he resigned. Of course, we could sort of go on a, a little bit more. Um, which he could play this, and then we could take with the bishop. There's no checks to do damage. And we could take here, we have check. Now I'm working through Herman Gruten's one of Herman Gruten's uh, books, and um, in that one, like a lot, the first three puzzles were all like knight to the first rank, so that you could just better position it to bring it around to do other things because it was the it worst. Sounds, place it sounds maybe a little advanced for you, to be honest. <laughs> no, 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 no. Honestly, it's uh, um, sort of what what I think with these kind of things is. First, you make sure people know the basics, and then you you sort of show them the um, uh, sort of when when we go past the basics. I, I I really believe that the idea of that we start off with exceptions, or I don't like the word exceptions because I don't use the word rules, but you know I'm just using the language you're used to. Um, but the idea that we sort of take the, the special cases, um, mm -hmm. I don't think that's, that's the right approach to where you are, because you don't need to expand your mind beyond the basics. You need to absorb the basics. Yep, no, that makes sense and, for sure. Because yeah, the blundery stuff is definitely, it holds strong and it kind of just comes in waves. So yeah, and right now it's been, been a little bit rough. <laughs> Okay, so let me just stop sharing. And then uh, my suggestion is now, I, I, I'm, I'm such a control freak, you just have to forgive me. The police, um, go right ahead. My, su my, my suggestion is, uh, as you were saying, you, you play a game, I'll comment on it. But meanwhile, while we're playing this, when you're playing this game, I'll also try to find a few possible positions uh, for, for your level. And it's not gonna be tactics because you've done that endlessly, I am sure and you do that all the time. And I'm not in any way gonna say you're gonna stop doing that. On the contrary, you should do more. You can never do enough, um, but, but that's, you have very easy access to that. So I'm gonna to try to find some uh, positional puzzles that we use in our academy. Uh, we have uh, this weekly, uh, weekly class it's called a homework club. So we have a, a friendly homework club and a killer homework club. And the killer homework is brutal. Um, we have quite a few grandmasters that are members of our academy. And uh, uh, you know they score maybe, let's say, eight or nine. You can think of 
uh, out of 12. Uh, my, Sam Shangler has a really good week, scores nine and a half or something like that. Or, Morrison has a really good week and scores 10. Uh, so he's, he's sort of like one of the big Russian uh, uh, prodigies. And luckily for him, I think he is covered by the rule of the European Chess Union that um, he's born, he might be even 2006, but it's Russian or Belarusian players born 2005 or later are not included in the sanctions. Um, I, this is a chess show. I'm, I don't want to talk politics. My, uh, my personal hope is that people will donate to help people fleeing from, from war and in trouble. And it's not, I'm not taking, you know, like, I think maybe crime and politics are different things, but I'm not wanting to take into that discussion. This is a chess show. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I do think they, uh, they find a very good, uh, here, by the way, I messed this up entirely. Uh, let's, let's just go back. I'll show you uh, uh, something here. I'll share again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, here in this position, I messed this up entirely, I see now. Uh, because in this position here, I missed that the queen could go backwards. Which is quite interesting. I don't know if you saw when I did hand and brain on Friday with uh, with my kids mm -hmm. and Kostya. They are uh, because both my kids and, and my partner they, they are not really chess players. You know they can play a little bit, but so anyway, so they were uh, the brain suggesting the piece, and I was doing the hand, and uh, we won two out of three games against Kostya and your youthers. And uh, the main reason we won was because my kids were really good. Italia <laughs> was really good. Um, the one game we lost, Rebecca, my youngest, was saying queen. I'm like, you can't do the queen. And then I moved the king. It's like, no, you take the rook, daddy. <laughs> so there was, there was this thing here. And it was, it was a diagonal move backwards with the queen. So here again, I, I simply missed this one. Black is, is still playing for a win here after taking this pawn, but it's by no means certain that will happen. But, you know, it's just stupid because in this position, sort of, I was trying to somehow get checkmate, but uh, there's no reason to be fancy. We can just take a piece. Oh, okay. Um, Three pieces are Except nice. now, now, of course, it is checkmate. But Yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I've never been very good at talking and thinking at the same time. <laughs> uh, which mainly is because I'm not very good at thinking. Oh, uh, I think it's the scrub effect. I think you're. Yeah, we. Yeah, I think our abilities rub off. No, I, I, I think I'm just old and stupid. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I, we have these two. We're young work. and stupid. I also have this problem with like backwards diagonal queen moves. I've lost. You know, it's a very common problem. Very yeah. Common problem. Uh, I mean, really, just so, backward uh, moves in general are. Or mm -hmm. lower levels are just it moves in general. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. So, um, so we have a yeah. Okay, so but in, but anyway, so uh, yeah, we have these two homework clubs, uh, which uh, the shows on Tuesdays, and that gives people a chance to do the homework in the in the weekend. They submit to us, we mark it, we send it back, and. Uh, uh yeah and then then we have the shows on um uh on tuesdays and we have friendly and killer and killer is quite brutal we have these 2650 2700 gms participating and there's also guys on 22 2300 uh sending in stuff and uh, uh we, we 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 even have robert fisher sending in uh, though I should say this is uh, Robert Fisher from Virginia, and not from a glorious past uh, beyond <laughs> the grave. From the grave. Yeah. Uh, but, he, but he's a very, very nice guy. Uh, so I should say that. Um, As opposed to the other Robert Fisher. Yeah, well, he was a, a conflicted uh, yeah. individual. <laughs> at least. Uh, he, he's normally put, put forward as the guy where, uh, you know, chess makes you crazy. Well, it was the moment he stopped playing chess that so he became full-fledged crazy. So uh, That's true. Good point. Uh, this is Nitro's short point, not mine. Uh. Um, <laughs> but no, but we have this. And then we have the friendly homework, which is sort of meant to be like under 2,100. And it's not always all of it is friendly. Vanier, uh, who, who does that class mostly, and, and I, we sort of exchange messages. And like, any new friends today? No, no friends. 
<laughs> so, but, uh, but, but it's very, very useful. Um, I am ready with puzzles when it is that time. Um, and we, we can look at some things we did recently in the academy. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, so, but uh, we should do that game first. Yeah, we'll like, we're, you guys we're, yeah we'll, cycle, we'll cycle through three. I'll do. I'll challenge Derek first, and then Derek and Seth, and then I'll play Seth, and then we'll do puzzles in the middle. Okay. okay. Cool. Um, and actually, with the time wise, if we're doing the puzzles on top, I'm just going to switch these to ten five as opposed to fifteen ten. I think with the time, that just makes more sense. Okay. Yeah. So if, 10, if we have to scrap a game to make room for puzzles, that's yeah that's fine, fine too. too so, so the, 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 just to make sure the way i understand how it's done so those playing will turn off microphone and speakers right yes yeah and yep. you'll comment you'll commentate with the third one okay yep yeah and uh so i I'm i, leaving, I'm leaving I, have, I have no <clears throat> those playing should know i have no great desire on being invited back so uh, <laughs> nice out. yeah so yeah Lay into them. Now's your chance. <laughs> it's okay. I, we, I, we can take it. All right. I'm going to mute and take off my headphones and then we'll go from there. Um, Derek. Oh, no. So who's playing? I think uh, Derek and Drew are going to play. So it okay. leaves you with me. Yep. Okay. So, so far, we, so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, good. So Derek's got white. Drew's got black here. And a Petra. Petra for four nights. Mm -hmm. Four nights. Do you believe that like players of of our level like the opening doesn't doesn't matter just play one just pick one and play it yeah it's it sort of uh, helps not to fall in common traps um yeah. when when I told my my daughters to play then I I did it because they were very young I taught them with a fairy tale <laughs> so it's nice. like you know the 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 night the, the, the night went for a trip he made a pawn and then they made a bishop, and then they arrived at the castle. Knight f3, g3, bishop, g2, castle. Now you're not going to go get made it on f2. Go and play. <laughs> <You know? laughs> they, right. And then when they got a little better, I taught them to play d4, c4, b3, bishop, b2, knight, c3 as well. And yeah, at some point, uh, Robin van Kampen, the 2600 grandmaster, was at, uh, at my house for a, a training camp a long time ago. Um, yeah, here it's interesting to take the pawn, but Peru black has compensation. Yeah, I, I would I would take it and, and see what's happening. Um, Looks like he's gone for that. Um, he was at my house, and then Kathy, my oldest, she will have been six at the time or something. She was like, "Oh, Robin, you play chess, right? Yeah, let's play." So, you know, I went to the kitchen, started uh, cooking, came in like 10, 15 minutes later. They were moved 17, 18 or something. Mm -hmm. Kathy was just better out of the opening. Six-year-old, yeah? Yeah. And then Robin was like, I always felt the system was uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, <laughs> to play against. <laughs> so it was like a six-year-old who just plays this basic just... moves. <laughs> that's the Yeah, um, yeah. I, I think that's absolutely fine. That's for, the... for your level. It's it's not what's deciding your games. No, right, exactly. So yeah. here, the, here, 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 I think he missed the chance to play Bishop F four. Um, On that last move, instead of yeah, retreating, you try to get the pieces out, right? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Here, this pin could be a bit uncomfortable. Hard to break, uh, right? Yeah, I would here even consider playing D four, either that mm. or Bishop G five. Um, Maybe also something like yeah, bishop g5 is fine, okay. but something like king h1 and then or coming now king h1 in a moment. He's uh, pretty moving. Yeah, but it's not going to happen, right? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, that's the dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but here, no, this here looks like pawn up. Uh, before earlier, when he played bishop c6, he had to take with a b pawn to add this d5 break to try to get compensation. It couldn't be played immediately because there's some knight c6. But, uh, but it was certainly how to play it. Like, you take with the B pawn and rook e8, see the knight return and try oh. to play d5. How easy that was to achieve, I don't know. But uh, interesting. Well, you shouldn't have blundered the pawn. <laughs> so it's like... Right, right. Um, 
Okay, he's coming with for full fledged invasion here. Yeah. This is his uh, style, yeah. <laughs> um, I can't fault him for that. Yeah. Well, this this unless yes. this wins, this is a horrible move. No, e five rook takes. Yeah, just simply blunder. Don't play e five. Yeah, you're but the, the oh the, no 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 don't play this. No, the, the, this uh, again. He's not going to take it now. The just, king just pull back. Yeah. We want to play king h1 and accept that there will be bishop f3, gf3 at some point, and then we don't uh, want to have played h3. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. We have to get. We have to play queen d2 to get out of the pin eventually, and then right. king h1, rook g1, and we use the file. And okay. Yeah, yeah that, that makes sense, right? I think people are very afraid of that of of having to take back with the g pawn, but like it can be an asset sometimes, right? Yeah. I don't think here it was a major problem, but the pawn yeah. on h3 makes the king much more exposed. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, this just, I, I still think white's fine, but, the, but it wasn't the right thing to. Mm -hmm. I would yeah, he, Here with white, I would consider d4, and then black takes an f3, you take with the queen, and it's sort of equal. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm worried. Uh, d4. What's, well, what's this rook? on e doing on e6 i don't it's a bit strange but you can imagine <laughs> it coming to g6 or h6 yeah, right, yeah. Right, right yeah uh, and here e5 is possible e5 rook e5 g4 and we could maybe witness huh? some sort of very famous uh famous uh win here yeah so see. i don't think so <laughs> e5 rook e5 g4 it looks very scary um could easily just be bad uh, okay ricky won first i think yeah yeah uh, no black should play i don't know the, the threat should they just queen, queen d7 and be ready for bringing in the other rook probably there's so many options it's a very complicated position there's no reason to say that there's one one clear choice hmm. This is good. Could could they just bring the bishop back to relieve the pin, or is or do you not want to do that? Well, it's well placed. D, my, my, the reason why I like queen d seven is again the, these three questions, right? Yeah, right. So the weaknesses for white is the king is a little bit exposed. You're missing the light squared bishops, so you're a little bit weak on the light squares. Uh -huh. um, your worst place piece is a rook on a eight, and white has this e four e five idea. Queen d seven prepares to bring in the rook. Uh, avoids the e5 being a problem and yeah, yeah. it's just um, because there's a line here queen d7 e5 rook a8 and if ef6 rook e1 knight e1 bishop d1 bishop d1 oh yeah 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 take the queen yeah. right yeah yeah <laughs> see this move oh. here is the last thing black should ever do this is the well, most I don't horrible thing I've seen for a long time. Well, it doesn't make any sense because he retreated it last move. Well, like so, probably got a little bit here. Now, the worst thing that could happen for White is to take the knight on f6. <laughs> right. That would bring back the bishop to e3, and it's a clear pawn up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is... Time to play removed. Uh, um... E5 is nothing special. Don't do it. I think um, that that capture to me struck me as like um, just oh, it was not... it was totally hopeless. There's right? No yeah. Anything else? <laughs> like he just didn't know what to do, so he's like, I, I guess I could. Yeah, trade yeah, but again, it. this is where these questions are good. If you're right. sort of stuck, mm -hmm. then it's like, oh, you could always see the rook on a eight wasn't doing anything, so he could have played queen d six without taking on f three. Um, Because e5, rook e5, rook e5, bishop f3. Yeah. Maybe queen e1 is there. But it's awfully complicated. Yeah. Here, bishop e3 is very good. Rook a d1 is also a good move. Uh, if he takes an f6, I'm going to be disgusted. Because uh, the weakness in the white position is the pawn on f2. This is sort of where we're a little bit under pressure and so on. So yeah. we're fighting for the dark squares in the center. We have full control over the large light squares. 
Okay. He also, yeah. Timing is setting in. Yeah, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> okay, this move is not bad. Okay. It's not bad at all. The union is frees up space for the other rook. A defense F2. Uh, nice. Why, why did simply a pawn up? It's not something like it's relying on a tactic or something he's advantage. Simply a pawn up. Yeah, right. So he can just keep improving the position. And now bring in the other rook, please. Yeah, you had a plan. <laughs> Complete yeah, the plan. If yeah. nothing happens, why win? So why why panic? Yeah. yeah. So you know, I was talking about this. Are we playing for short or long term? There, there's uh, only one queen move that doesn't lose on the spot, which is queen f5, and there's no business there. Uh, here, White's obviously playing for long term thing. If nothing right. happens, it's uh, like wins. soccer. Italy wins one nil. <laughs> it's right. Which they he, do a lot. Yeah, that's his goal. That's, that's how, their national style is to try. To I, that's that. how I, I. That's how I like to win. I like to get my one goal lead and convert it. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. Every everyone uh, should have their own style, their own preference. Yeah. Um, although Italy these days, they're they're more they're they've more flair and no. <laughs> you're thinking of pasta. Yeah, good pasta for sure. We, we, we had the pasta for dinner, you know, the kind of, uh, um, you know, when you are at the, the situation where like what's left in the bottom of the cover that you haven't mm -hmm. taken out for a long time. That yes. Was, that was our dinner tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I cooked, so it was like low expectations all around. <laughs> Yeah, I have that one. I, I think I, I always have like a box of spaghetti that's been in my cupboard for, you know, a year or <laughs> that I, if I, if I ever need it. This was actually, even though it looks sort of strange with the knight there, it's, it's quite nice because he's going to play C3, the bishop's going to be kicked back. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he's going to be able to play D4 and E5, which is clearly what his, his huge ambition is. Yeah. Um, so. so, right. It seems like, so besides uh, H3, you didn't like, but otherwise it seems like White's playing a pretty clean game. Here. Yeah. This, is, oh, he's blundering here. Now Bishop F4 and, and he's on his way to win the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see if he finds that. This, he's good with that. This is very short-term things. Threatening a piece and see if the opponent doesn't see it. <laughs> You gotta try something. Oh, uh, Ooh, why not the bishop? This is why mistake. not the bishop? Why not the bishop there? Yeah. yeah, now bishop takes b2 and black's back in the game. To be, yeah. If you play c3, then the right move is uh, bishop takes f2. Check. And then this time. Uh, oh, he found are it. Are you sure he can't hear us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, f I figured he'd find it. He's good at tactics. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm not sure if this is really a tactic. Or just That's tactic. true. It's 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 pretty straightforward. Yeah, um, attacking the queen, but um, but you know sometimes it's like you're recalibrating what's attacked. You're like you're like oh my b two pawns defended. This is a problem for me. And then they bring the queen in to attack the bishop, and then you miss that it also brings a second attacker to b two and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. um, No, it's, uh, but, but it's going very well for, for Drew here. Uh, I think for Derek. It's clearly underrated, yeah. Derek is, I think, having is is white. So he's, um, yeah. I, I, I have to uh, admit two things here while we're at it. Yeah. First of all, when I, when we bid for this here, uh, we, bid it, we bid for it uh, mainly with the, uh, the reasoning that we had no idea what it was. Right. I figured. We thought if we win it, we will find out what it is. Right. So oh. uh, I don't know if this is a, 
a good or a bad reason to be here, but it's the truth. No, I, I assume there could be no other reason. <laughs> the other um, thing is, I don't know what the word means. Scrub, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I know the like the TLC song from TL, know, right, 98 exactly. or something. Exactly. But but exactly. that's that's my knowledge exhausted. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, um, there's a UK TV show called Scrubs, I think. Yes, yeah, it was an um, there's an American show called Scrubs. So maybe it's American then, yeah. Well, um, so in the the uh the the TV show is a is a play on words because it's it's Scrub in the way that we're using it, and Scrubs is also what uh medical professionals wear. Those those uh -huh. clothes are called Scrubs. Yeah, Scrub in, yeah. Yeah, so so they wear scrubs and they were also scrubs, meaning they I think it because it's like the main characters oh. were like uh, resident doctor, right? They were like not uh -huh. doctor. So a scrub is somebody who's not like fully, uh, you know. I guess it's like a sort of um, beginner or experience, yeah way of saying, but sort of I, against Queen G three that is almost playing there. As yeah. a fun move, which is knight d5. Yeah. Knight d5. Yeah. And then if the bishop goes back to d2, uh, so sort of to avoid problems, mm -hmm. we have queen takes a2. And everything is sort of pinned and it looks weird and so on, but you can see that it's not working. This move is, of course, much more natural. Uh -huh. um, but I think the other move might have been better. Yeah. This is just gonna. Yeah, I, I don't see that the exchange here is gonna. Yeah. yeah, but but blacks here is, has real conversation because now the this B four move I really hate it. It's, it just created so many weaknesses on the. Court. Yeah. Now, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now this knight is is stuck. Like for example, here after take take, which will probably come. Uh, here, if black plays a five, where are the weaknesses? Well, B four is a weakness. It's what called a hook. So mm -hmm. a hook is a pawn that's moved forward and can be used to create counterplay against. Because when black plays a5, then, OK, we're threatening to really take on b4 and win back the pawn. And if, if white takes on a5, then bishop takes, and then the pawn on c3 is under attack. While here now white is uh, on the way to create his big empire with d4 and, and maybe even d5 to follow. I think he's too focused on that knight. That knight is. Uh, well, maybe queen d2 also. But d4 queen d2, is, queen d2 is what I was, what I would want. I don't know. It's, it just feels like you're going after a5, take, take. You're in uh -huh. all these pins from all, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you're right. I, I think I would have overlooked that. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, a5 is very, very important. With black should play it now, I think. Okay. Uh, a computer yeah. might have a different idea, but based on something that neither of us could anticipate. <laughs> right, right. So it's not very played. relevant for us playing chess, right? No. And yeah, and yeah. He played it. Yeah. It really good. Really good. You know, Drew, Drew has, a, has a knack for like finding the weirdest counterplay <laughs> in games he should be totally losing. Um, yeah, I, I, I have to say, okay, there were some, 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 some problems with some tactics and stuff, but very yeah. minor, I think. I, I don't think that the, that this is a bad game at all. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but it's sort of unraveling a little bit for uh, uh, for Drew here. Did he play d5? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. I, I would be worried about rook f6 here. Yeah, also the position opening doesn't look yeah, yeah, no, no, favorable no, no. but but yeah white has definitely lost control totally so when you're when you're playing for um uh, when you're playing for for long-term things and you try to keep control as much as possible but here mm. it's uh he's completely lost control yeah um, i think yeah is would you say black's better now no, I don't think so. But, no, uh, the position is very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, probably here, black should should not do that. Uh, should play something like h six, so we can play for opening up the position. The worst thing that can happen is suddenly there's a rook on e eight. 
Um, I think H takes here and Black's just happy. White doesn't have an obvious uh, way to play. Mm. There's no reason for Black to take on D5. It only helps White. Right. Okay. Um, I would. Um, the lower well, oh, he pushes mindset might be to uh, but undouble this the pawn. This I don't like because now maybe e5 and 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 things are following. Now white should play for attack. Yeah. Suddenly it e5 changes like looks, so quickly. Oh, e5. Looks, looks those scary. those yeah those those that center pawn there is pretty pretty menacing. It's got so much space. No, but maybe yes. too soon. <laughs> I don't know. I have this problem sometimes. I, I I get too happy, excited with my pawn advance. But yeah, the, like, the thing is, it doesn't do anything. Queen takes b4, and and then the dream dies. Oh, queen takes b4. Yeah. I think b5 was a decent move. No, then Bishop A5, sorry, it's blunder. Um, oh, gosh. What? <laughs> that was awful. No, no, don't, don't. Oh, they're running out of time, yeah? No, uh, actually, might you play E6, opening off for everything. Yeah, okay. Well, that's just, that's just a connected past pawn. Well, it's not so much pass pawn here. The pass pawns are not going to make it. Uh, okay. Yet. No, 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 no. Come on. Don't do that. <laughs> He's. Oh, gosh. Uh, um... that, that was ugly. Oh, gosh. You're not a fan of the queen trade. <laughs> I, uh, I think I think it was a... Uh, it was a... It was a Wrong decision. Now rook e5 also. He's coming unglued. Oh, yeah, he just hung a pawn. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is, wow. Well, um, yeah, this is like what happens to my games when they're down to two minutes. <laughs> yeah, now rook takes uh, knight and c4 and it's just time to resign. Oh. Oh, he missed this it. Is, yeah. This is fine. This is fine also. That's, it's not like there's a mistake. If he moves the nice C4 check and it's definitely resign. Or even here C4 and just resign. C4 and the knights. And there goes the knight. Wow. Oops. This is yeah, well, this is this is how games are decided often. I feel like Hi Lucy, mm. were you there? I didn't even notice. Hi. Hi girl. Hi. <laughs> oh, she's a little bit tired. We walk her a lot. <laughs> That's good. You you wanna a tired dog is a is a good dog. It is. Um, I hear exchange the rooks, take the pawn, and uh, send the postcard from. <laughs> Background right. changes. Nah, come on. It's never. Over. I haven't been paying much attention to the chat. Uh, it's. Um. Yeah, yeah, they're they're doing okay. It seems. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Any big questions we missed? I don't think so. Someone wants to know what you did with your hair. What I did with my hair? 
I did nothing. Yeah. Literally, like, that's, that's how I it grew that's... by itself. Right. <laughs> no, my, uh, my whatever girlfriend, partner, whatever, she, she wanted me to have long hair. I thought, oh, no, that's, that's easy. I can do that. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm, I'm very unparticular with my hair. If anybody, you know, said do one, I'd be like, yeah, okay, sure. No, it's it's like you know she she buys me uh, shirts and stuff and so on. Do yeah. I like it? I was like, yeah, it fits. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it does its job very well. Yeah. yeah. No, we you know we have the normal you know uh, uh, boy girl discussions about colors. Mm -hmm. I I believe I know all the colors like red, blue, green. Right. Um, yeah. There's like that's six. Or seven. That's, that's also brown and purple. And yeah. There's a few more, but you know, you, you know the colors, right? So yes. I start talking about scarlet and Bordeaux, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Bordeaux isn't that in French? I'm like, right. There's, yeah. Why are there, why are there 15 names for purple? You know, um, but yeah. Uh, I agree. I did have long hair. Neve in the chat, but that was mostly due to uh, due to COVID. I couldn't get a haircut. Ah. Um, no, my my hair grows very fast. My beard grows yeah. very fast. It's all the testosterone, you know. Yeah. It's a. Uh... All right. Well. Black is under I a don't, minute. I don't think anyone is as offended if you resign. No, I don't think so. Um, although I, I do have a policy of not resigning myself. Okay. Maybe, but if it's, I'll, I'll if if my game is is too unsightly, I, I'll resign I think, I think, on I think stream. Could maybe maybe like <laughs> that as a, not an ultimate policy today. If that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't do it. I, and generally, I, I would say, like, for the sake of a show, I probably wouldn't play down, a, play on, like, down a queen or something. But I think down, in my own games, it's like, uh, yeah. All right. Yay! Well done. Good game. That was awful. <laughs> well, it was good until it was. It was good until I just completely yeah, collapsed. It was good until you ran out of time. There's a time. There's a few things. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I was back and forth. That was a good game. I was feeling kind of good, and then I felt like I kind of just got I boxed myself in and just kind of jammed all my pieces up. But I still yeah, felt you, like you played. You played this move. Bishop takes f three, which was really ugly. Uh, no, I think Drew took f three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew, yeah. So I, I was white. So Drew took bishop f three. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That was that was quite ugly. But it, this move h three, there's no reason to play it. You you want to play? Um, uh, you, you here in this position, you put pawn back on h two. Uh, here, so you will eventually have to play queen d two to get out of the pin, because you don't want to play h three g four. So mm -hmm. because of that, you will will have one to accept bishop takes f3 gf3 so your king belongs on h1 putting the pawn on h3 just seriously weakens that uh proposition so something you're more yeah, like that maybe not immediately maybe king h1 first but, mm -hmm. but yeah even like this here and it's absolutely playable Why? okay of course sort of it was like uh pawn was blundered there was another mo moment here, bishop h5, and then rook e1 was played. This moment here, I thought, was uh, this was where bishop f3 was played. Yeah. So if we, if we do the three questions on this position, then uh, put the bishop back, yeah. Uh, here, black to play. So white spread is e4, e5, which you didn't want to play the move before because it was sort of unclear in, in various ways. But here's threatening e4, e5. So the queen is pinned with the bishop. It could be unpleasant. Uh, and at the same time, our worst place piece, uh, you could argue it's the rook in the corner. You can argue it's the queen because the queen is in the way for, for bringing out the rook. So, so both of them, right? And then the weakness is, is f2. And just generally, light squares also around the white king is a little bit weak because he gave up the bishop. So here, black plays queen to d7. 
then all these uh, ideas of uh, E4, E5 doesn't do any, anything good anymore. Uh, actually, I think it could be, be even a, a mistake here. I don't know if we can play something like bishop f3 and then rook e8, or we can play rook e8 immediately. Rook e8, g4, knight takes g4. I think I would prefer to be um, be black in, in, in those complications without having calculated at all. Uh, but the idea is e5, rook a8, ef6, and rook takes e1, and then the white queen is gone. Mm -hmm. So here, yeah, this and okay, you play for for compensation, you play for active play, but giving up this bishop for the knight, the pin is gone, the light squares are no longer weak, uh, the white king is safe. It's it's just horrible, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Fair enough. So then later on, when you had these past pawns, when white played d6, you go to this moment. So here, b4 is bad. Oh, sorry. Just a moment, just go back here. b4 is, is, is quite a significant mistake because now this pawn here, you, your structure is going to be, be quite broken up as we saw. If white had played uh, b3 or uh, a3, then there was no big problems on the queen side. I prefer a3, but it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, b4 surprised me a lot, actually. It's, 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 it's quite a quite a mistake here you know next move is d4 and then we can think about getting the knight out and yeah white is just a, a pawn up there, there are no problems mm -hmm. um so but b4 is quite a big mistake especially queen a3 uh here here black had this funny move knight d5 which is worth looking at not h5 but d5 oh, sorry yeah, knight d5. I... Sorry, knight d5. Oh, yeah, there. Yep. Because the e pawn is pinned, and now the c3 pawn is hanging. Mm -hmm. With bishop d2, we play queen a2, and what's that? Uh, that's not necessarily working. That's bishop h6. Um, huh. Maybe not. Bishop d2, queen a2, bishop h6, and resigns. Bishop d2. Probably. I'm not even sure. Bishop h6, rook g6. And then queen g6, queen e2, queen g7. Yeah, here, yeah. bishop h6 and resign. Okay. Everyone has to calculate attack. Uh, gotcha. Attacking mate and, and the queen at the same time. But oh, okay, yeah, so yeah. The knight d5 was, was not so clear, but maybe f5 here. Um, so this is counter play. Okay. Not so important. Knight h5 is played was fine. And take, take. And then a5 is very important. Um, yeah. Oh, so a5, a5 was lost, very tempo. important. That's interesting. No, I yeah, like, yeah. I wasn't sure about that move. It almost seems sort of like just an, like a, a, a thought. Like no, no. Like, Jakob was like, he has to play a5 here. A5. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I, it just seemed to me, I was like, there's a lot going on, but it just seemed like an idea at this point. So Yeah, no, you, you need to break the bishop out. You need to yep. undermine the white structure to get counterplay. That's great. That's cool. And this move here looks, it just looks awful, d5. Here, uh, black's, black's doing very well, I think. But, yeah. But the drama oh, yeah, didn't well, end there. No, c5 <laughs> was fine. And yeah, because those white pawns are getting super just... Yeah, here confused. I would put the rook on g6 <laughs> sort of intuitively, rook f5. And here white needed to, to try something there. And here, for example, queen takes b4, and I, I think I think black's just doing very well. This was awful. c6 was just incredibly awful. This is, it's oh, like, okay, now, yeah, now this pawn on d6 is just without like really unbothered yeah um okay. this, this oh oh uh, so yeah guess... no here here white should play e6 uh or e some very some version of that oh, sorry so here 
Yeah, oh, D six oh, was bad. I thought you were saying C six was bad. No, 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 no. C six. C six was extremely. Yeah, because you just let this pawn oh. get free. Now basically. we 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 are opening up. We're coming through here. It just kind of felt like if I took, then like I had these back right problems. Otherwise, if he no, but you no know need to take or not take. Just uh, cool. Hmm. Okay. Queen takes B four, and you could have been remain cool. I yeah. see. I was trying to like figure it out because it just seemed like there was a lot, all this back rank threats and stuff, and I was. But then, I was it's scared. not there. You don't take on D six. Yeah. You just okay. keep the tension. I see. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So here, yeah, not rookie three. D six. Yeah. E six. E six. Sorry, here. E six. Here. Yeah. Yeah. E six. Mm -hmm. And takes and rook takes. And mm -hmm. now we, we we're ready for sort of D seven. We were ready for rookie eight. We were ready for queen e2 and the queen coming to help. And black's a little bit uh, left behind here. The knight is stupid on d1, of course, but it also defends f2. So it gives a wider chance to, uh, to come into play with all the other pieces. Queen e2 to g4 is natural maneuver there. Uh, so I think, yeah, here it's sort of disintegrating, right? Yeah, now it's here. Here it's just time travel, and, and white is disintegrating. And now blundering the e5 pawn, and the game's over. The knight b2, and it's still play. Uh, but uh, the, the idea yeah, of getting c4 was that's right. That's just mentally like broke down. <laughs> uh, actually, knight b2, then c4 wins. So uh, maybe it's just lost anyway. So if you go to, go go back one moment. Oh, sorry. Go back oh, to that night move. To... That night move like switched the whole game, didn't it? Just, no, yeah. no. But here it's 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 about lost anyway. Black's playing c4 here uh, on the next move, um, and if we play knight b2 to try to prevent it, which I thought for a second, then c4 anyway, and we have bishop f2 check mm. coming. Yeah. So I think here it's already uh, disintegrating for white. Mm -hmm. uh, also, there's bishop a5 with the idea c4. Here, we don't need to look anymore. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I almost I almost resigned. I was like, I'll just fight on just for a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. then we could sit and analyze a game with an extra rook or two for black. Yeah. It was very entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, cool. That, I mean, that, was, that was instructive just hearing you talk through it. <laughs> okay, I, I, I need to also walk the dark and so on. So I think, can we stick with just this one game? Is that okay? Sure, sure, yeah. of course. So I, I just wanted to show a few positions. We just yeah. uh, talk a little bit about, about positional play and these three ideas sort of became a, a theme uh, a little bit. So Yeah, by, by all means, as long as you can stay and I understand, I, I have dogs too. So as soon as you need to leave, <laughs> that's more than fine. Yeah, we'll stay another, another 10, 15, 20 minutes. Something. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. So here, this is from... Uh, uh, no, yeah, yeah. Can you guess the game? No, you can't because this was played um, two years ago uh, in one of our academy's internal tournaments, blitz tournaments. <laughs> so it's just random way. I you just here I, I stumbled over this position and found out that was actually instructed uh, for how how should white continue. So the question in this position is a uh, it's not a very deep one, but it is. Should we white exchange rooks or not? Mm. So, uh, what do you think? Like, try to just verbalize your thoughts, and uh, I'll look at my phone for a moment to see how, or my computer to see how my students are doing. Well, I. Hmm. So, so I, I'm, I'm feeling like because the the black king is feels like it's somewhat trapped back over there. So the only way I can see getting out of not trading is if you take the G pawn, they can throw in a check on D2. We're playing for white, right? It's white to play, yes. Yeah. Um, my, th my thoughts is that we can take a pawn right now if we don't trade rooks. But I mean, but we can he, take it. I guess the next move. And take a pull. We could take it. Yeah, but that's true. That's true. Um, my, my instinct is I don't want to trade because the because the white king or the black king has easier access to the center of the board than the 
the, the, the dark or the black has easier access for their king to get to the center of the board overall in the long term than white does. White's trapped out a little bit more. So that means that the rooks are going to have to do more heavy lifting. So white doesn't want to trade the rooks. That's my instinct. But why is that? I think we. I don't know if we're if we're up a pawn. If we can go up a pawn, I, the fewer rooks the better. I think. So if we trade a rook, I mean, unless that we can put like the king in a mating net, is there? But, yeah, but, I was trying I to figure out if we could throw in a check on the C file to make the king move. Well, there's an idea here, rook c7, king h6, rook e7. The sort of trying to take control of things. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Which was suggested by quite a few of our students. Okay. Yeah, I did see the rook c7. I was actually not actually looking at rook e7, but just rook to c c5. There's an, another know. idea of rook c7, king h6, and trying to swing the rook over like b5 to b7 and try to flip a checkmate. That that was my initial thought. I just I, I just, just yeah. it feels like it, they can easily block it. Um, so I don't know what, what that would get us. Yeah. So okay, we, yeah. we we're gonna have to take a decision here, guys. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trading. Then trading the rooks. I would trade. Just because of my point earlier. Or rook to d five to try to block, and if he wants to trade, then we get our rook on the d file. I don't know. I think I'm calling I'm calling rook c7 check and then yeah but we'll try for we'll try for some mates. Okay, so we have one change and two no's, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I'm we, saying we no. have a say, we have a saying in our academy that the wisdom of crowds is very unreliable. <laughs> so uh yeah, the, the right the right uh move here is to to exchange rooks. Okay. And uh it, it's it's sort of have a, a, a few things with Probably a, a, a fairly basic, and you already know it, but, but let's go through them anyway. The first one is here, the white is playing for a win. Yes. White's going to be a pawn up. Mm -hmm. And in general, in, in positions like that, you want to avoid complications. We talked about this earlier. You're playing for, for long-term or short-term things. Uh, so, so there's that. The second is uh, the, the weakest a black position uh, piece here is actually this rook here. So mm -hmm. when we exchange, this rook is passive. It's yeah, not in a that's... very good spot. Mm -hmm. But these reasons are actually not the main reason why this is the case, but they could be used for it. Um, the main reason is that our worst place piece is the king. And where is it supposed to come into the game? The Well, if we oh, could... If... Yeah, sure. If we can come through F4, if possible. Yeah, exactly. We want to come out here. So let's say we go here. This was played in the game. Then immediately came this move here, counterplay. Now, this yeah, is because we left him with an active piece. He went here, and they played other things, and actually white won the game, but it's, it's, you know, it's like a rapid game, I think. But here, for example, and, and black is by no means worse. We're going to yeah. take the e3 pawn. Um, there was a suggestion of, of rook d5. Yeah, black takes this one. Now, if you take on d6, then black has defended all his pawns, and it should be an easy draw. If you take here to win the pawn, here, you still have some advantage and some, some play to do here. Um, but, but, but here, the problem for white is, how are you ever going to get the king out? The moment you ever go here comes rook h2, and you have to go back and defend the pawn. You, you can't get out. This rook, active rook, is, is really very important. So I was just distracting one of my students who are playing. Actually, two, two of our academy students playing in, uh, in St. Louis right now. So, Oh, cool. Who, who are your students that are playing right now? If you can uh, say. Darius Svich and uh, Christopher Yu. Wow. So those are good players. Yeah, it's, uh, they, they're also good people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the the funniest things comes after this uh, sort of idea, and here you can even go wrong. Like this was suggested by one of you, like check. And I, here you have to be very careful not to be checkmated. Mm -hmm. Again, 
leaving black with two rooks and a lot of counterplay. But let's say we play rook e7 here to remove the rook. And this is a way of exchanging rooks. But why leave black with the active rook? And furthermore, here black can make a draw in one move. <laughs> uh, stalemate. Yeah. Uh, rook, rook exactly. cheat, yeah. And stalemate. Wow. <laughs> but, if, but, but even without the stalemate, like the worst, wow. the best thing white could achieve was this thing, which wasn't that great. Yeah. And here, black will definitely put the king over here. Um, but let, let's say he's just waiting for the moment just to give white the move. The only way that white could actually prevent him from bringing out the king is by doing this. But then here we are again. Mm -hmm. And now it's either stalemate or black will take the pawn. Um, okay, so here, after we exchange, what's important is black's left with the passive piece and we can then take this pawn. And here we play slowly with white. We have no rush here, for example. So this would be a mistake because suddenly there's counterplay with, uh, with rook f3 check. Don't want to walk into that. Instead, we come around and here. Now the black rook is tied down to the pawn. There's going to be no rook f7 and count rook f3 because rook takes mm -hmm. e4. <laughs> so now we come slowly. And yeah, let's say here is where my notes stop. But let's say the king comes here, we give check. Go here. Black cannot go into pawn ending because it loses very easily. Mm -hmm. And then we take this pawn and we win slowly. And yeah. These kind of things where we have these relatively basic um, uh, questions, but they're very, very confusing. But it gets to the, the heart of, of how chess works. Um, this was also from one of our reps. This is a bit too difficult. But here, for example, this is a, from our Blitz Championship. Uh, and White is a, a kid, like really a kid, like he's 11, 12, something like that, from Ireland called uh, Kevin. Uh, re really lovely little kid. Uh, he's, a, I don't know, 2,000, 2,100 strength. Um, he played for Ireland in the online Olympiad, which I think is more because they're happy to have someone who's young and plays reasonably well. They don't have the amount of talent you have in the States. And black is Darius. Uh, so in this position here, uh, you can see already we have here the idea for black. Uh, but let's try to see worst place pieces also. This is clearly the worst place piece. This is the worst place piece. Where are the weaknesses? Well, the king is a little bit open, right? Mm -hmm. Black doesn't have any weaknesses so much, but we sort of have this pawn. Wouldn't call it a weakness, but uh, but this is sort of the, the main thing that's going on. And here there was a lot of very strange uh, approaches to this position uh, from our students because they didn't have a feeling what to play for. Are they playing for the fact that they are a little better developed or are they playing for long-term thing? Are they trying to take control of the position? So Drew, what do you think you should play for here? Control or for action? Control. Mm -hmm. I mean, Derek? it's just it's a space it's a space game. We control we control we have, we we own a lot more of the board in a way because of the pawn structure, mm -hmm. and so and so just in general, it makes me think that like this is sort of where we can just sort of like pin you know pin black down somehow. What know? about long term? Don't you are you not afraid of your king being open? Not if not if we can let the pawns, you know, do the blocking for us and really, you know, keep the structure closed more. You know, then we can we can protect the king just by having this more closed kind of position. Is is my instinct? We might have an opening coming up for uh, as as coach uh, in our academy. So maybe you should uh, you should come and explain something to the kids. <laughs> Nice. I mean, what, even, what would you play, Drew? I mean, I was looking at like G4. That was entirely the opposite of everything you said. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my idea my idea is to support the pod right and to keep that structure in place that was why the g format could because it really holds that like the pawn up front and kind of keeps yeah, you, like, you, 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 you've probably seen this meme like life is like a game of chess i don't know how to play chess <laughs> <laughs> that's fair i've seen that's that fair. um but, yeah Ah, oh, that's that's weird because yeah, instinctively it just seems like G four holds the pawns up and like you know creates this like. I'll explain it afterwards, but let, let's try to get <laughs> Derek in here. What do you say? Yeah, sorry, I was I was a little distracted. I was dealing with some chat and some coordination stuff, so I kind of missed uh, uh, some of the explanation. Um, and this that's one, fine. It, it was Drew's explanation you missed. Oh. <laughs> And this one is, it was is beautiful. It was beautiful and all and correct. <laughs> it was, it was, the praxis, maybe I don't know. Just the wrong move. And so this is is it white to move or black? Yeah, white to play. Since you missed everything, let's go to Seth. Okay. Well, um... so I'll just say my first move. Maybe this is what Drew said, but I, I'm looking at like Bishop E4. I don't. I don't know. That's my move. Yeah, that's the move here. Um, because all the counterplay let's try to take i mean there's an arrow yeah. pointing to you what black <laughs> is trying to do so well, yeah but that, that arrow was pretty so obvious stop. though <laughs> it, it, it was sort of it wasn't there when we sent out the exercise that's my right. my yeah, it, yeah. it's there in the explanation yeah? yeah yeah so here you have to move the bishop somewhere and now for example oh, yeah. take yeah. this here oh, right. but also yeah. the the fact you played g4 um let's say we we, we just for theory we sort of take this Oh, take then, here yeah. we put this yeah, here yeah. and then we put this here now the king comes here and who enjoys this being open most i think black but it's not so clear but anyway sort of like in the game he played queen f3 trying to prevent e4 but it comes anyway mm. and black pieces are alive and then uh, he played here and they played like this and and yeah, that doesn't feel won the game so um let me i just want to hear without sharing screen i just want to go through my notes and try to see if i can find a really perfect example for for what i want yeah uh, know exactly what i'm looking for this is uh but whether i will be able to find it easily i don't know not there not there not there not there not there there. Hmm. Just make some jokes while I'm being old man here with my technology. Just rip on Drew some more. Yeah, it's <laughs> jokes. Um, I mean, well, I mean, it, I it just feels you in that game. I'm not really sure if you're allowed to rip. Oh. Oh. I, I, I threw one just for content. <laughs> in all fairness, Drew, I thought you were white. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Um, I, I I think Seth misled me. Or, uh, I, I know what I was thinking. But Drew doesn't play so badly at all. I after think, all, I think. Um, <laughs> I think. Uh, I think that the, it's the D. It's the D names that they're easy to confuse. Yeah, that gets mixed up all the time. <laughs> uh, this 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 was for uh, this was a game from one of my uh, um, my own Blitz games. Just, just a blitz game, you know, not, nothing special. Mm -hmm. So here I, I was white and it's uh, like moving very quickly and I made the draw and everything. But here I, I played a, a mistake. It's, an, it's a nice little exercise. It really is a nice little, little exercise. White to play and draw. The construction looks good. You got the king blockading on the dark square. Yeah, I'm just seeing if you throw in a check, push the B pawn. If the king takes, you run your A pawn, and then you'll eventually take the F pawn because the bishop, I think, has to cover A8. Yeah. But the king doesn't have to take the pawn. No, it could just play B5, right? Which seems sufficient. Maybe five. 
but then in which uh, case can you just kind of juggle your king around just like play like e5 or something and just kind of go for repetition i did want to go for e5 yeah well the king can never take even if if the king goes to b5 right it can never take the pawn I think King E5. I like I like that. Yeah, just King E5. Repetition. I'm not looking at King E5 right off the bat. I'm still looking at B4. I'm looking yep. at King E5 right off the bat. Well, what's did you refute B4? Well, B4 is refuted with King takes. If pop, if I don't know, if, if no, no it's King takes. No, that's King confirmed. B5. So sorry, King B5. If 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 B4, King B5. Then King B5. Play, so what? Then you can play you just, King E5. Just, yeah. Then you just you just keep your king right there next to the pawn. You just move it back and forth. If the king comes mm-hmm. over, you run your pawn. The bishop has to defend, and you take the pawn. And is there, if, a, is there a difference between that and just King E5 right now? I mean, like, what's the difference? King E5 right now. Yeah, maybe um, that's okay too, but uh king e5 um maybe not because then you play so, then so, king so, so so one of the important things to understand in chess is trying to find out what the question is right. as we we're talking about earlier yeah yeah and drew came with the right question is there a difference between playing b4 first or king e5 first <laughs> this is an excellent question this is very talented um is the difference is what can they play king b4 no that doesn't i don't know i don't know if there is i'm sure i suspect there is but i can't find it there definitely is a difference yeah and it's not like you can't find it it's just like you gave up trying almost well right. yeah yeah i'm, I'm just I'm <laughs> still thinking i'm just I, I just haven't found it you're right yet Is there any way that like the king could actually occupy like come into d5 and the bishop is always able to like hold down the fort on the two pawns and then the king can just help push the pawn. So by putting king e5 first or preventing king d5, which would then allow the king to connect with his own pawn and push. And there, ladies and gentlemen, you have the explanation. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, of course. You had a So if you game. play here, essentially the game will continue like this. That's it. There's nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I played here because you know I thought, okay, just draws, and he played here, and okay, this was a game. And at some point the bishop has to leave it. This is by the way, this is if you look in something like Dresk's endgame manual, he'll talk about the bishop having obligations on two di- different diagonals, which is the case here. Both has to stop the white pawn and defend the other pawn, can't do both, and therefore. We have a draw. Uh, I played here, but at this point, black could indeed play here. And the king comes over and helps the pawn. And here, okay, the pawn is hanging, must go here. And then the bishop goes here. The pawns are blocked. And now it is Suksva. Gotcha. Uh, w- one of the, the three phenomena that almost only happens in end games. Uh, the, the other one being, of course, stalemate. Uh, mm-hmm. And then a uh, little less obvious because it does happen in the opening, it does happen in the middle game, but it's definitely an end game feature. What do we have as the last feature of end games? Really, really Submission. important. Submission. Very basic. Uh, it's uh, like you're explaining it to a five year Opposition? No, that <laughs> is an end game thing, but, it, but, it, but it's, it's more of a, a little detail thing. Oh. That's like saying Ampasang doesn't happen in the end game, which is true, but it doesn't happen so often in the opening either. Um, <laughs> there's not much opposition in the opening. <laughs> no, there's not opposition in the opening, but uh, <laughs> uh, we, we do have we have seen Sukswang in like move twenty two and GM games and so on. Mm-hmm. I mean the only other the Z word is Smission Zoom, so I was like that was uh, I think that's intermediate a, that's a... move intermediate move happens uh, in all phases. So uh, yeah. I think I think the theory behind oh, it's very basic. It's very basic. So in the in the middle game uh, and the opening, the typical way to win the game would be um Checkmate? Uh, yeah, checkmate. yeah, the checkmate, oh. right? We we have yeah. next level. Attack the king. So what what is the strategy for winning endgames? 
queening a pawn. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Very, very, very basic. I told you it was basic. I was <laughs> say, actually, yeah. the the um, I think the the theory behind the bong cloud is to take the opposition in the opening, right? <laughs> I'm talking about bong cloud theory. Yeah, you get the distant opposition. Boom. Yeah, I'm a. Uh... I, I I have to uh, I have to confess to be absolutely uh, uh, how can we say it not 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 amused by the bomb cloud at all. No, it's uh, so not it's, at all. I I I I find it just stupid. It is. Pretty <laughs> I don't find I don't find it funny at all. Yeah, it's pretty David dumb. as well. David as well. So you, you're a you're a good company in the dojo. Although, did you see that string of like? of bullet games where Magnus was doing the thing where he switches the position of the king and the queen to start the game. He like marches. And then he was- no. a... And I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 yeah, for me, it's sort of a, a kin of, uh, of, of, of uh, sending text of uh, topless girls to each other, you know? It's, uh... <laughs> Come on, you got the internet. I got the internet. <laughs> It's not 1992 anymore, you know. <laughs> I've never heard that comparison with the bone cloud, but it's like my favorite comparison I think I've ever heard. Well, it's, uh, you heard it here first and last. <laughs> so, never to be repeated by anyone ever, hopefully. Uh, guys, uh, I think my hour is past. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It was an absolute pleasure to, uh, to meet you guys. Where, where are you based? Um, um i'm in i'm in virginia so i'm okay. i'm the fourth of uh, the partner so, so of, the, is robert of the chester fisher, so i'm sorry so uh so is robert fisher yeah that's so. what you said virginia so i was, I was curious i was yeah. like i, I want to know another virginia native uh, uh not a crazy chess player <laughs> <laughs> i'm in uh i'm in denver colorado okay never been yeah and drew i'm in san francisco Okay, Drew, we, we, I'll be in San Francisco at some point. I'll try to see if we can hook up at some point. That sounds great. I would love it that. It sounds like you, you will know all the underground metal places, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's new to San Francisco, right? You got you to gotta figure out all those spots before Yaku comes out. Yeah, actually. So it will be a while out. anyway. I, but I, I got, you know, I, I have friends who live in, in the Bay Area. Sam lives yeah. in uh, Walnut Creek. Uh, no, he's, he's he's actually homeless at the moment. But yeah, uh, he Is used he to be really? in Walnut Creek. He sold his house, and now he lives in Belgrade, I think. Uh, at this at this uh, moment, at this Belgrade. moment, he does live in Belgrade. <laughs> That's true. And uh, Christopher lives uh, also at outskirts of there, and and yeah. I know some other people. Uh, I actually yeah. just moved from Denver too, so like Seth and I over COVID got to become like pod buddies in a way. You know, we got to hang out. Hang, we met through the dojo and hung out in person a, a good number of times, which is pretty cool. So that was sort of part of the origin story of this show. So yeah, excellent. Yeah, but I'm enjoying my new life out here in San Francisco. It's been pretty. It's been pretty nice. <laughs> It's not as cold as Denver. That's for one thing. It's, the humid, the it's like snowing actually, like crazy outside. The humidity is actually is it? weird, though. When it, gets, when it gets into the 20s here, it can actually be worse than zero degrees in Denver just because it's more humid. It's actually and it's 80 room. degrees here. It's hot. But it's um, Well, I have to say, probably the main thing I know about Colorado is reading The Shining. So, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I've been to that hotel. That basically sums up Colorado. The Shining, yeah, <laughs> that's 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 a regular. That's a, that's that's a normal day. Everyone goes crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, uh, I see. I see you on Instagram that uh, Lucy, your dog, is waiting for a walk on you. So we'll we'll let you go. We don't want to make the dog angry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I saw Killer yeah, Chess yeah, training. Yeah, uh, just yeah, people running that account for her, I should say. So. <laughs> so we'll let you go. But well, thank you so much for coming, for coming on. I really appreciate yeah, all the advice. Thank you. On it, the... It, it was a pleasure. Paid appearance and everything. So, yeah pleasure with that so well thank yeah, you we'll let you go I, and uh set the truth so you can you can both say minutes. you can say now that you're my coach and you're sponsored by sam right so, there you yeah, go exactly. perfect right. yeah. i wanted to finish with a, with a with a little story about that which is there's a danish composer called carl nielsen he's the best classical composer in danish history he worked at the danish uh, royal opera and outside there was a guy this is like the uh, 1880s or so on you know, with the old, with the wheel, 
and the monkey and everything. Uh -huh. he, was, he was there and he was playing one of Carl Nielsen's uh, compositions on this uh, thing. And he was going very slowly, you know, and Carl Nielsen was walking past it every day and he's listening to this and just, and one day, you know, he had this bad day and on the way out, he's just like, no, you do like this. And he was, you know, you got the right speed, right? That's the speed you're going at. And then, you know, he went home to shout at the wife or what do I know? Anyway, he walks past the next day, the guy is standing there slowly anyway, but beneath it, he has a big sign saying student of Carl Nielsen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. Kalia told me I have to go outside now. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. We'll, Thank we'll you. let you go. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. This was, was fun. Bye. Story. All right, I, um, we're we're still on the three of us. Um, we're gonna stall for a couple minutes. Uh, uh, Chess Latte's got a lesson with uh, Katarina Nemkova starting up, so we'll we'll stall nice. for a minute oh, and send them a raid. Do we wanna wait? Let's let's do a couple. We got like a we got yeah, raided by uh, Chess.com. By the way, uh, Jerk Jerk and Seth play a game. If you guys can play a rapid and or a, or a blitz, and I'll just commentate. How about oh, that? Yeah, that'll, that'll be blitz. good. That'll be a good little. Color. Oh, blitz game. Okay, yeah, I got I got time for like one because I'm trying to wrap up too. Yeah. Good. All right. Get some all right all right derek you can beat me in a blitz game all right let's... um I'll, I'll i'll make this challenge here do i need to uh do i need to leave audio or can we just ah uh, no nah, we can just stay on it's fine all right um... you know you know all my high class commentary is gonna totally ruin your uh... <laughs> yeah it's mostly gonna be distracting yeah. uh <laughs> oh, also you're you're at you're at Beatty on the on the overlay i, I don't I'm not gonna update the name, but guys, that's that's Seth. That's not that baby. Oh, okay, we got we got uh, 2,200 oh, people watching. Dang it! I accidentally so. I accidentally started another game. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, I challenged you, and board. then I made another. I boarded it. It, All right. it popped um, up really okay. quick. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, because Akila was Akila was in, and, and he put us on Chess TV, and, and then I had to tell him we were like oh, we we're gonna, gonna be, be like brutal. done in like two minutes or 20 minutes. All right, challenge sent. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. All right. Yeah, I'm hearing uh, a lot of screaming coming from downstairs, so. <laughs> this is my chance. <laughs> you guys are playing three minute blitz. Man, going for it. Um, okay, so it's an open Sicilian classic. Oh, he does the auto capture at the queen takes, just in case. That's funny. Right. Um, and then. This might yeah, have been a mis. Is, I might have played this wrong, but it's yeah, good. It's okay cares. now. Cares. Something looks strange. But. Well, he, you had check there, and then uh, well, I still got you know, check. now. Now it's not as good. <laughs> nice, nice. This all makes sense. Uh, just could try to clear off the board. We're just trying quick. to see if we can finish the game with over three minutes on the clock. Um, <laughs> hey, what's up, Charlie? Just play real fast. What to do here? Hey, Char Charlie, like, rarely makes it to scrubs just because of the time difference. Yeah, I know. Like, Wait, cool yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you, you got to still be up, right? You haven't gone to bed and gotten up. Yeah, I don't you know. You got to play Knight F3 there. there. If, you, if you guys don't know, I don't know any openings. <laughs> um. Although we're playing, we're, we're playing I don't know what this is. This um, is early. I just realized that. Yeah, because we started this show, like, yeah, three yeah. hours earlier. Than the, right. So that, that, that's the difference. All right. For anyone confused, we normally don't have Grandmaster Jakob. I can, I, now I'm afraid to say his last name because I messed it up right off the bat. I've always <laughs> yeah, heard it as too. Agard. I didn't know. Um, Jesus, what am I doing? Um, I want to say like Og Ogar. Yeah, is, is that what he said? Does that sound, does that sound close? Ogar, Ogar. <laughs> yeah. Ogor, I was like not ogre, but like or like ogor, like yeah, I don't know. That's tough. I tried, but I still don't <laughs> think I got it. Yeah, that was the move I was looking for, Derek. That's looking very nice. In fact, I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. You got any good moves for black? <laughs> I got no good moves for black. I got plenty of good moves for white. Um 
But yeah, I, I was like really surprised I won today because I've been tanking pretty hard the last, that was, the last that was, like two weeks. That was like the longest game I've played in a month or two. <laughs> I've only I haven't I haven't played like any uh, non blitz or bullet. <laughs> Don't tell David. Uh, yeah, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> Taking notes. <laughs> hmm. And it was it was even like it wasn't even the whole fifteen ten like we were gonna do. It was just ten five. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's not, sorry, Seth, you didn't get a game in. That's okay. I get this I trashy game. <laughs> <laughs> oh this is so bad yeah but i'm kind of running out of ideas <laughs> all right well that wasn't one I, I keep getting these like knights in weird positions like i did against you yeah we had th that I was surprised that your losing move wasn't... You were already lost before I thought you were losing. That surprised me. He said mm -hmm. it wasn't even the night he... You, he said that I was already winning before that 94 move, which was crazy to me. But I have to go look at... All right, we're going to try something. Oh, I didn't even... I wasn't even... I didn't even see that. Oh, yes, I stopped paying attention because oh, that's. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah, you like that one? You like that one? I am in a pickle. Oh, this is rough. Um, this, 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 this dynamic got, switched very quickly. It's got ugly. Um, <laughs> let's see. Well, okay. This is okay. It's not over yet, actually. I think this is kind of still a close one. I think. Yeah. Well, it's like who's gonna get? Someone's getting mated. <laughs> Unclear who. Um, well, yeah, I, I still haven't figured out. Uh, there you go. I think it's pretty obvious now. Mm, I think. Well, still, I'm taking a piece, but mm, this looks done. Okay. We'll see. I think. Yeah. That looks well. Shoot. Hmm. Should be good now. Yeah. Let me. So much aggression, Got though. Him. So much aggression. Got him. I didn't even realize it was made in one. <laughs> <laughs> I got. Yeah. I got. I was like. I was like. I felt good, and like I just like got distracted, and just fell apart. Can I get a can I get a a, a Highlander gif? Wait, I don't I don't even think I have that set up. I, don't, I, I messed up all my stuff. I'm rebuilding my computer, so like my soundboard, I don't even think that's gonna work. I think I got that all off. But... Yeah, my soundboard. Yeah, I've got everything messed up. I'm re I'm rebuilding my computer. Hopefully tonight, um, because I gotta I gotta redo everything. Harder Char to understand Drew like... after a few beers. That's. Okay. All right. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why Charlie is is so against me. I don't know. Well, you guys are rivals. You guys are good I guess. Rivals. You I gotta guess. be rivals. Sorry, Charlie. You're, you're rivals. You're oh, sorry, Charlie. <laughs> I let you down. All right. Is uh, what uh, is, what is. is Katarina? What is Katarina Nemkova's thing? Jane? Come on, Charlie. You didn't like that. You didn't like that bishop. What was it? Bishop. Bishop G two. No love for Bishop G2. Or was it, was it Bishop G2? I already forgot what move I played. I, I wonder actually if you were... Bishop G3, I, sorry. Bishop G3 was the move. I sat back a little bit. I wonder if I was just out of the mic. Can you hear me better now, Charlie? I can, we can hear you. Well, Thank Charlie, you. Thank you, Jay Jay to understand me after a few beers. I was just wondering if it was... Does anybody know what Katarina Nemkova's... Uh, oh, that's not her. <laughs> well, maybe, I don't know. Frog Queen. He just prefers Hokey. Oh, that's he what it is. Frog Queen, is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, I don't That's what her. it is, thank you. I guess I'm not following. Does her. she not... Yeah, she might not... She must not stream much. I thought she was a streamer. Yeah, well, she obviously is, but I don't know how, like, if... 
like you know an everyday stream man right? yeah let me it's not up yet i just gotta get going so i'm waiting to see if she goes live with chess latte's lesson so we can send a radio oh, just saying they're just saying that it sound like someone from a movie or they've seen our tv show huh Drew is from Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory? Really? That's what you're going with? Big Bang Theory. Uh, I hate that show. But, uh, like, <laughs> what? Uh, it's such a bad representation of people in the map. Big of everything. <laughs> I've got, um, got Charlie's Sons of Anarchy. Although, um, There's a DEA agent. I can hear it's Charlie saying Wicked Smart. Wicked Smart. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably. You guys, if you guys have seen um, if you guys have seen Sons of Anarchy season five. There's a DEA agent uh, named Ray, or the actor is Ray McKinnon, and that dude is like crazy. I think I stopped like, watching that in, like season four. Okay. I think that's where well, we, we fell off. There's like a there's a photo. Uh, I can actually put it on the screen on a screen share, but it's kind of hilarious. Um, where is this one at? While we're waiting for the for that stream to go live. Oh yeah, my internet's all really slow, so sometimes it takes Jesus for he's buddy Christ. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there's this yeah, I, I love the show for for the beginning of it and then it just kind of went off the rails. It jumped the shark. He's also so. in, he, he's also in Deadwood. Actually, he's the priest in Deadwood. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I love Deadwood. Yeah. I've never actually seen the show. I just know. I just know. But the like priest this, from Deadwood. Yeah, I man, it's been a while. I don't think I ever finished Deadwood. But yeah, it's only three seasons. <laughs> I know. I know. I think I was. I think it's I so watched, good. I think I've, I've like, watched it like two or three of, times. I think not in a long time though. It's good. Yeah. Check this it's, photo it out, good. though. It's pretty, it, it, pretty freaking hilarious. Western. I love Westerns. I wish I was in <laughs> Yeah, I, I do. I, I I like them, too. But isn't it weird that Western is, like, what? a genre? Like, there's there's this whole genre of movie just based on this one very, very particular niche thing of American history, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway. Well, Jess Latte, you just just go on, just uh, get out of the dojo then with her. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. They're just running technical difficulties, I guess. Yeah, so um, I might send a raid, and at least it'll like host them. Um, gotcha. so can, can you I'm gonna do that because I can hear. Do that I? live? Before Derek's house burns down, we should. Uh... <laughs> I heard a lot of screaming when they 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 went out. They left the house, and then I heard a lot of screaming when they got back. And I hear plates and a lot of screaming. So I think it's dinner time. Right? Plates, I promised plates. I'd be done by for dinner. All right. Um. Let me. Yeah. I think I. Let me see if I can even raid when they're offline. I think I can. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna raid uh Prog Queen Katarina Nemkova right now. Um. So stick around. <laughs> Once they I should like. hopefully get up in a couple minutes, because uh, Chess Latte is going to get his lesson that he won in the Ukraine uh, charity auction. Um, yeah, just just the like, best uh, Western, uh, by the way, is is Unforgiven, and I will. Oh, that be, is a classic. Yeah, that's a good one. I will not be persuaded. Good to see you, besides Blazing Saddles, of course. Besides Blazing but, Saddles, of course. That's yeah. That's that's the whole time. What's, that, what's that, wait, What's the one with Morgan Freeman? Is really good. Yeah, he's, he's an Unforgiven. Yeah, Unforgiven, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, it's Clint Eastwood, but yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just happy yeah. that uh, Charlie got to got to jump in for a little bit of scrubs. We never get to see any yeah. scrubs. Yeah, that's true. I don't know Charlie, Blazing even though you always hate on me. Blazing Saddles is a western, but it's so much more than a western. <laughs> <laughs> Blazing Saddles is best, of course, but like of serious ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna send yeah. the raid. Um, so stick around, guys. They hopefully they should be up any minute now, and you can check out Chess Latte and getting learned. All right, mm -hmm. see you guys. All righty, I think we're. Wow! Right. Thanks, that, guys. that was, was cool. incredible. That was a great show. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, you didn't get to embarrass yourself like I, I did in front of him. Yeah.